Hello everyone, welcome to Brave Souls Utility Guide. I know it's been a little bit since I've made one of these, so for those of you who don't remember who, or who have not seen this or this kind of video, I basically take the characters you're seeing on screen right now, put them under one or more of these categories. Unless they don't fall under any of these categories, then I'll put them on the bottom right where it says orbs and links only. The categories are clear time, high damage, versus boss, support and crowd control, auto and PvP. If they don't fall under any of those categories, but they're still decent characters, uh, and we'll get some of those in this video. Uh, I'll put them under PvE. That basically means that they're still good characters, they just don't excel at any one category. I'm covering the Visors today, and I'm only covering them uh, in terms of when they were a member of the group, the Visors. Um, with that, which means that, you know, the Hollow Mask Ichigo is, is going to be in there, but none of the other Hollow uh, uh, affiliation Ichigos will be in here. Um, that's why you also only see three of the Shinjis in here, and both the Captain Shinjis that we have that are also hollow, um, I'm gonna cover in the Squad 5 video. Same with a lot of these other characters that you're not, you're only seeing one of their, uh, versions on this. Uh, it means that the other version of them is gonna be when I cover the individual character squad. So, I will get to those characters, but for now we're just covering the characters that, uh, are technically a part of the visors. Uh, in, you know, that group. Uh, so we're gonna get and start with uh, Ichigo. I did already talk about him when I made the utility guide on Ichigo, so basically, not a great character. Uh, does have Frenzy, I believe, but has a terrible killer. Not great range on his strong attacks. Um, has a strong attack damage link, and a secondary link when he gets resurrected is a stamina recovery link. Uh, he's, it's useful, the link is useful um, when it comes to, like, Senkaimon, because you get some of that health back and you get more damage off with your strong attacks, but it's not the most useful thing in the world still. Orbs and links only is where he belongs, similar to last time. I'm just gonna leave him down there. Next we have Hachi. This Hachi sucks, we're gonna put him down here. <laughs> There's not much more I can say about him, he doesn't have, uh... Doesn't have the best secondary link, weaken reduction, I, be I believe is what it is, and the character himself doesn't have any good abilities. I think he has Bombardment if I'm not mistaken, uh, but it's just not great. Uh, the newer Hachi though, the newest Hachi we got, is actually pretty good. He does have a high SP, he does have Frenzy, he can inflict uh, uh, debilitating paralysis, he's got a strong attack too, that's a barrier move. We're gonna put him under crowd control uh, and support. Just because, uh, not really for the crowd control, but mostly for the support. We're also gonna put him under versus bosses, because he can pretty easily defend against bosses uh, if you time your barriers correctly, and you can also paralyze him and knock him out that way. So, I don't necessarily like the character, just because he's kind of common and I'm kind of tired of seeing him. But aside from that, he's, he's not a bad character. Um, he's just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, good for support and good for uh, good against bosses. Next, we have the Christmas version of Hiyori. If you have this character, you basically just have extra orbs. This character's not good. She's not a good character. Um, if I remember correctly, the only time you were to, you know, actually put an effort into completely maxing her out is if she's your only hollow speed character and you're still doing the first in time on, I believe. She is a character that can go in floor 33 of the very first in Kaimon, but aside from that specific thing, she's not a good character. So we're gonna go ahead and put her under links and orbs only down here with Hachi and Ichigo. Um, next up, we have the other, the power version of Hiyori. This character is also not great. I believe she does have, a, she does have a decent killer. If I'm not mistaken, um, but the character itself is not great. Um, she's got a normal attack damage link, and I believe it's a. Let me double check here. Um, but I want to say, there we go. Yeah, it's a freeze reduction. Uh, it's a freeze reduction link, so it's a normal attack damage link and a freeze reduction link. She's actually a pretty useful character to take as a link, because if you have a character, if you have her on a character, their normal attack gets increased by 20%, and their freeze uh, duration is reduced by over half. So. Not bad as a Link, but really only as a Link and not as a decent character. So we're gonna go ahead and put her down here as well. Next, we have the tech version of Hiyori, the visor tech version of Hiyori. I know there's two, but there's only one on this list. Um, she's got a really high attack, she's got flurry, she's got normal tech damage Link. Actually a good character. She's really good against bosses. Her strong attack too is a vortex move, a static vortex move. Um, and that really, really helps with taking out bosses because you can trap them in, in one spot. Uh, for that reason, she's also really good for crowd control because she can trap the enemies in one area and just kind of leave them there as she attacks them or uh, kind of leave an, a boss trapped on there before they use their special, so we're going to leave her on there. We're also going to put her under autoing because she has poise, because she has a high attack and a decent killer and flurry. Uh, she's a very, very good autoer, so we're going to put her here. Uh, among these characters, 
she can hold her own in PvP uh, better than a lot of the other characters on this list. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call her a top tier PvP character, but the flurry poise um, is a good combination. We're gonna put her over here though, uh, on the far end of PvP, because, like I said, she can hold her own in it, but she's not great in it. So we're just gonna leave her on the far end of PvP. Next we have Kensei. I actually quite like this character. Uh, unfortunately, he's not that great. He did get better when he got resurrected. Um, he got a better link. He got a, he starts off with a normal attack damage link. He got a damage reduction link, making him an actual perfect link if you're uh, if you're attaching him to anyone in PvP. He's got now a plus 60 bruiser on top of his plus 20 nav link, meaning his normal attack is increased by 80% uh, on his own. Um, I'm gonna put him under... I don't really want to put him under auto in because he's not that great of a character. He can deal damage, he's got a decent killer, and he can deal damage. He's just... His, his, his attacks don't have the best range and his strong attacks don't serve the purpose as a lot of other uh, auto characters' strong attacks do. Uh, where they knock enemies down. Um, I'm tempted to put him on auto just because... On the, on the far end of auto just because he can deal a lot of damage with his normal attack. But I'm also going to put him orders and links only because that's really, at this point, he's a better link than anything else. But if you're truly in a bind, he might be able to auto stuff for you. You're, you're much better off using a lot of other characters, but he can work in a bind. So we're going to leave him here. Next up, we have Lisa. I really like this design for Lisa. I just, I don't know. I like it. What can I say? Unfortunately, the character herself is not great. She's got a terrible link. Uh, of attack up by 40. I don't quite remember what her... S I think it's strong attack recharge link for her resurrection link. So that's a little bit better, but she doesn't have frenzy. She's got berserker at 50% and she has bombardment. The character herself is not great. She's fun to use. Her strong attack one in particular is very fun to use, but unfortunately, she's just uh, good for orbs only. So we're going to put her down here. Um, next up, we have the tech Lisa. The only other Lisa I believe we have that's a five star in this game. Nope, never mind, there is a blue one, but anyway. The the tech version of Lisa here has a really high SP. She does have Frenzy, she can inflict the bullet and last rate on everything. Her strong attack too is great because it's a it's a 160 mag. So if you're up close to the enemy, it's gonna do a ton of damage. But you're also going to have to pin them up against the wall because uh, otherwise it pushes them back and it reduces the damage on follow-up hits. So she's a good character, but she's not exactly great for clearing time because that strong attack 2 is very, uh, it's very specific uh, when, whenever you use it and how much damage it does. Uh, so I can't justifiably put her in any of these except for PvE because like I said, she is a good character, but she doesn't necessarily fall under any of these categories. So we're going to go ahead and put her under PvE. Next up we have Love. Unfortunately, we don't have very many Loves in this game. I really wish we would. I like the character, but the ones we do aren't great, including this one. He does have a... Uh, I think his attack gets better when he gets resurrected. Um, his, his bruiser definitely increases, but unfortunately, it's not good enough. Uh, he does have Adrenaline at 15, but his normal attack is still suffering from being slow. He's not a good character. I wish he was, but unfortunately, right now, he's really only good for... Uh, Orbs and links only, so we're gonna put him down here as well. Next we have Mashiro. This character is interesting. Um, she's a very old character, but she has a decent attack, a decent bruiser, and frenzy. Her stats aren't very high, of course. Right now, you can make them as high as you want with uh, with accessories and and the, the transcendence points. Um, she doesn't have the best range on her strong attacks, but it is better than a lot of OG characters. I'm actually gonna put her under PVE as well, but on the low side because. She can kind of hold her own, honestly, she really can. She's got a decent link as well, she's got a damage reduction link of 20%, and I think it's a normal tech damage link uh, of 16% if I remember correctly. Uh, I could be wrong, let me double check. Yep, that's it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put her under PvE because like I said, she's not useless, she's just a little slower than everybody else. Um, she's also a really, really good link, so I'm also gonna put her under orbs and links only. I really should just remove that word only from the bottom there because some characters kind of fall under both. She's a better Link, much like Kensei, she's a better Link than anything else, um, but she is still usable on her own if you're in a pinch. Uh, she's not a terrible, terrible option. Next we have Rose. Uh, uh, what can I say about this guy? Not great. He did get a lot better with his resurrection. He got Frenzy, but I wouldn't necessarily say he's good enough to actively use. I'm just gonna say he's he's better off uh, being used as orbs and links only, so we're just gonna put him down here. I need to remove that only section. I'll do that for the next time. Um, next up, we have Shinji. The three Shinjis that we have, we're starting with the purple one, the OG. 
not great, <laughs> unfortunately. If, if you could kind of mix two of them, you can get a decent character, but by himself, this Heart Shinji is not good. He's got uh, terrible, terrible range on his strong attacks. Uh, and just terrible stats because he is an older character. Uh, he's also got kind of bad links. If I remember, it's a damage reduction link and a dodge rate link. So together, maybe you can build something in PvP where you can dodge and also damage reduction. But, you know, it's it, they'd be better off giving him better links. He's just not a good character, so we're going to put him down here. Next, we have Tech Shinji. This guy is, uh, he's not good. <laughs> he's, he was one of the first ever... Uh, six stars in the game along with Soyphone and Gein. Unfortunately, they Really did him dirty. He's got a terrible killer. His strong attacks are fun to use But uh, his strong attack 3 is something else He's one of very few characters who has a static vortex move as a strong attack 3 But his vortex move takes 32 seconds to recharge which is insane Imagine having a strong attack 3 that takes 32 seconds to recharge. It's crazy. It's crazy and for that and a lot of other reasons, he's just not a usable character. Still, they really did him dirty, but what can you do? Finally, we have Speed Shinji, truly one of the best characters on this list. That, granted, that's not saying much. There's not very many good characters on this list. Uh, Speed Shinji has a really high SP, he's also got Frenzy, he's got a boosted damage reduction link. Um, he's also got a strong uh, special move that transforms him and gives him all his strong attacks back. That's actually very, very useful for this character because it makes him really good against bosses. Because you can basically use six strong attacks in a row, which is absolutely awesome. His uh, his damage increases when he gets transformed. We're going to go ahead and put him under versus bosses here. Um, and I think that kind of sums it up. He's not really good anywhere else. Uh, I would say I would, I'm tempted to put him under high damage because he can do those six in a row. Uh, but high damage is really more, more more meant for anyone who can deal a massive amount of damage with one strong attack or anything like that. So we're just going to leave him under versus bosses. He is a good character, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just, you know, he doesn't really excel anywhere else other than there. Uh, and really just PvE in general, but there are a lot of better options. Still, that wraps up the, uh, the visor list. I'm sorry it took me so long to do this. Uh, whether I edit this in the same way that I have before, where I, uh, where I go ahead and put the characters, overlay the characters' images over the video, I don't know yet. It's a lot faster to edit if I don't, honestly, and I think I might just stop editing it that way. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Hopefully the next one I do will be Squad 5. We'll see more Shinjis there and a butt ton of Aizens. So get ready for that, because that one has... Whew, that one has the rest of the Shinjis, all of the Aizens, all of the Momos. So that's, that's going to be a longer list. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.